Hi, I'm Phil Marino, the online learning librarian at EMU. Today I'm going to introduce you to a way to find additional articles using articles that you've already found. Let's say that I'm writing a research paper on how exercise affects academic success. I've started my search in eSearch and found what I consider a pretty good article. Number nine in my results, Exercise and Children's Intelligence, Cognition and Academic Achievement. Now let's step back for just a minute to consider all of the research that's been done on exercise and academic success as a part of a conversation that I've represented on a timeline. This article, having been published in 2008, falls somewhere in the middle of the timeline. I'm entering the scholarly conversation on the topic at this point. But let's say that I want to know what occurred before or after this article. How do I do that? I'm going to start with articles written prior since these represent works that have influenced it and are typically easier to find. Authors cite works that they've drawn upon in their references or works cited page, so I'm going to go there to identify additional studies from the past that might be relevant to my research. I can do this by bringing up the full text of the article and looking for the references section, or in fact many of the library's databases will have an option to view an article's references from the results screen often supplying links directly to those articles. So now let's try to work the other way on the timeline. I want additional works that have been influenced by my article. Luckily, there's often an easy way to do this. Do you see this gray box with Web of Science and a number listed? This means that the article has been cited 296 times, and clicking the link will take me to the Web of Science results listing those works. This feature appears in a number of the library's databases, as well as Google Scholar. Look for the words cited by, and then a number. Remember to use the EMU Find Text Plus link to access the full text. I've now been able to use a single article to expand my search to find both older and newer research. Hope you find this helpful. Be sure to check out the EMU library's other resources, and if you still need help, ask a librarian.